Hello, everybody, and thank you for checking in. Welcome to this game review, whatever, of the game Guards by developer Battlecruiser Games. This has been out since about August of 2016. It's got very positive Steam reviews. It is only $5 on Steam, and I will put the link in the description. Um, it's single player strategy, adventure, indie, turn-based, tactical. There's supposed to be hero upgrades and clever tactics and all this stuff. I'm ready to find out what's up. In order to make a move, you need to switch the positions of any two heroes. Okay, you just click and click. Every hero has his own attack range. It is shown by white squares when highlighting a hero. Move Witcher below so that he could strike the opponent. Amazon strikes two targets at once and move her to the center. Nice. Okay. I see. Oh boy. That guy looks tough. The heroes use a super attack which they use when moving from the back square to the front. Use the knight's ability. Move him to the front. Oh. Okay, cool. It's really cute. That's one of the first things I'm going to say. Um, I really like the... I don't know, it's just cute. The hero in the back restores his health. Move Priestess back for healing. Oh, so the person that goes back here will heal. Okay. Continue the battle. Alright. You can only swap two. Which is kind of rough in some ways. Magic portals, hordes, and mo hordes of monsters. Nasty freaks with axes, only a small part of what the future hero will see in his dreams. A new quest. Squad preparation. You need a party of four guards to fight in the battle. Recruit the missing hero by the Witcher. Okay. Bye. Complete. Take reward. Start game. Kill the monsters to pass the level. I feel like you'd really have to sink some time into it to get good at it. Oh, that was neat. It is cool. I like this. This is the kind of game that I could see myself passing a good amount of time with. I don't think I'm doing very well. <laughs> I like the music. I do usually turn game music off, so hopefully there's no uh, issue with that. Well, she heals. That's good to know. Level complete. Uh, don't have enough for that. I guess. Doing that. These are settings. Magic hints on. Oh, let's let's see what fight speed high does. Uh, just curiosity. Oh. They all, like, do their thing at once. Alright. Swap. And... Swap. That's, that's faster. Kind of like the fast mode. There we go. Getting some stuff done. Nice.
Good, good. Some of it's a little hard to predict. Two levels completed. <laughs> Only have 150. Okay. Loading, apparently. Um, upgrade. Healer. As you progress, you will gradually unlock new heroes. Uh, any new hero wields a unique ability and his own strategy of waging warfare. Ultimately, upgraded heroes acquire veteran status. We have two. Oh, that's good to have. I wasn't really too much of a fan of that. So I'm going to put the gold there. That's good. Um, I know that he was. Does 25 damage to. There's a description at the bottom. Did I not know that before? Whoops. That's okay. Okay, now you can come forward. Well, that went pretty good. So now... I can do all kinds of stuff. Activated that gold. Huh. I actually like it. The more it goes on, the more I like it. This is that type of game that you just have to get into it. Might be a little bit slow to start, perhaps. But once you start really getting into it, it's like, okay, now I want to keep going. More gold, more upgrades. <laughs> uh, I want to, you know, find out about new um, heroes and see the different locations. Yeah, I'm definitely getting into it. Pretty much just gonna keep switching these two until like now he can go there. Yep, I like this. It's nice and casual. It's got great music, and there's just enough strategy, really, to keep you, you know, thinking about it. Um, it's not completely mindless, which is nice. Level complete. All right, 340. We will... Um, yeah, that, that was fine. I know my commentary is not that interesting, but once you get into this, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, yeah, <laughs> let's just do this. See how this plays out. Okay. He needs to heal. Uh, is the environment changing a little? It is. It's a little rockier now. Um, the I like the art. I do like the look of it. She heals in the front, yeah. Just the more time that goes on, the more things I'm noticing. It's interesting. I think you're supposed to go until you fail one and see how far you get. Uh, that's the impression that I'm getting anyway. There we go. 14. I hope that's not how many we have to kill. Um, you can go up. Nice. Uh, you can go back. Yeah, we have to do more this time. Oh, uh, let's see. She can hit that far. See, they're pretty fine as they are, but we'll move them around. And I guess again. 
There we go. Got some healing in. This is close. This is pretty intense. Oh, yikes. Oh, man. Heal. I don't know if he can take that. Yay! <laughs> That was a little more intense. Now there's more spiky things and some fire. Apparently we have to kill 18. Heal him! But he's kicking butt. I hate to move him back. Okay, he can kick butt too. I see. Okay. Uh, heal. Nice. Apparently, can do more than one in front of him now. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, more health, I guess. What about those quests? You can't check on the quest in between? Uh, maybe there's a button. Yes. Take reward. Take reward. Take reward. What? Yeah, I can't change anything else. Okay. Once you get to winning a few in a row, it's like... I just feel like you have to keep going. Nope. You can use runes. Oh. Okay. Revived. Good, good. Oh, no. Five levels completed. Well, there. That was pretty darn cool. I think that I could totally really continue to like get into this and just get lost in it um it's got a lot of it seemed so kind of simple at first but it kind of has a lot of aspects to it with the quests and the inventory slots and upgrading the heroes and placing the heroes the actual gameplay and the turn-based combat um and the way that that's set up there's there's a lot to learn but at the same time i think that it would be pretty easy to figure it all out um if you really pay attention to everything that's going on i was so engaged into figuring this out that i didn't talk that much and that's kind of bad but at the same time it's a sign of a good game because a good game gets you lost in it. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching because I had fun playing. Sorry if it's edited too much. The recording went on way longer than normal. Uh, and I do know that Guards is actually available on iOS and Android now. Um, maybe you could get it for your tablet. Um, I could definitely see this working well uh, as a mobile game because it's simple enough, but it looks good at the same time. It's that beautiful thing where somehow mobile games have this just beauty to them. They have that like crisp cartoon thing to them. You know, very crisp animation, very bright colors. Do you know what I mean? Do I just sound crazy? <laughs> I love making these videos and I don't know if the momentum of this video is going to show it, but I was skeptical at first and I just got more and more into it and I think that that would continue. I really want to play it more. Enough rambling from me. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you next time.